was when I originally do the labyrinth, and then I was like looking on YouTube for stuff, and then this guy popped up, and I was like, now I'm doing him. <laughs> so this is Narcissus. He was a Greek hunter in Greek mythology, and his myth involves these two characters, Echo and Nemesis, um, kind of like self-explanatory. So the story goes that he was um, hunting, whatever, and he was going through the woods and the forest and stuff, and Echo saw him, and uh, Narcissus was like the male version of Aphrodite. All women loved him, he was gorgeous. And uh, so she saw him and fell madly, deeply in love with him. And she called out, um, uh, kept following him. And he finally called out and said, um, who is there? And she replied, who is there? And eventually revealed herself to, to him. And he uh, didn't want anything to do with her. She profound his, his, her love to him, said you know, he, you know, how much she adored him and all this. And Heisman her. So um, Nemesis saw what uh, Narcissus had done to Echo and wanted to place revenge on him. So what she did was after one day of hunting, <coughs> she, uh, she lured him to a spring to make him drink because he was thirsty. And in that spring he saw his reflection and he fell in love with his reflection. And as the sun went down, he made um, numerous and numerous and numerous attempts to kiss himself because he was so in love with himself. And each time he did, the reflection went away and he was sad and came back after the water stilled and he was happy again. The sun went down, as the sun went down, your reflection fades away. Um, over the night, he ended up, through the curse, ended up becoming a narcissist. It, um, if you don't know anything about plants, that's a daffodil. Um, and he was basically turned into a white and yellow flower. Um, what I uh, plan to do is tie his myth into the modern day version of narcissism. Mm -hmm. um, love at first sight, how Echo saw him and immediately fell in love with him. Oh, by the way, the only, what happened after she was like, you know, stiff arm, she uh, aimlessly roamed the forest until the only thing left of her was an echo. So <coughs> that's how we get the echo. Um, also, self-admiration and beauty. Um, in today's world, there's such a huge strain and pressure on not only women, but men <coughs> to be so you know, prim and proper and you know, clean cut and all that jazz and whatever. So like, He's the male version of Aphrodite, and I feel like there's a tie into that because beauty and um, the significance of that in today's world is not just for females. You know, men have to, right. you know, do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is how the myth of Narcissus relates to young love, um, the mental disorder of narcissism, and the pressure of beauty in the 21st century. Great. Questions first. All right, good job, guys. <laughs> I think everything hangs together really well. It's good. I think. Uh,